Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 62. The title of uh, today's lesson is It Takes Two to Tango, so that is the proverb. Uh, let's take a look at the note. Uh, this proverb seems to have originated from a popular song written uh, by Al Hoffman and Dick Manning in 1952. Uh, the two versions of the song were recorded by Pearl Bailey and uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, who were very famous at that time. Uh, let's continue. Uh, this proverb now is used to mean it takes cooperation among two people or groups uh, in order for some plan, agreement, or project to be accomplished. This, of course, alludes to the idea that two dancers who are performing the tango, remember tango is a very, uh, you know, it's one of those ballroom dances, uh, must work together. Yeah, if you've ever seen two people do the tango, if they're not working with each other, knowing exactly what movement each one is going to make, uh, the, the dance would fail, somebody would fall down. So that's what we say. It takes two to tango. They have to be cooperating with each other in order for this to work out. So that's why we use this as a phrase, it takes two to tango. All right, so let's continue. If one partner is unwilling, it won't work, just like we said. Uh, many say Ronald Reagan, remember the president, you know, uh, in the ninth, especially in the 1980s, popularized the proverb further by using it in regard to diplomatic negotiations with Russia in the 1980s. Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, this phrase, it takes two to tango, is often used in politics and romance. These are the two most common ways. So in order for you know, both countries to truly be honestly working with each other, wanting and willing to work out something. So we say it takes two to tango. And of course, it is definitely used in romance too. All right, so uh, let's continue. That's why the uh, two examples here, one is for politics and also one is for romance. So let's take a look at example number one. Uh, neither Trump nor Kim Jong-un should be given full credit for working out a deal of North Korea's denuclearization um, because it takes two to tango. So if the two are not working together, if, if even just one of them is uncooperative, it won't work out. Uh, in this situation, you might jokingly say it takes three or four to tango because help from uh, China and South Korea were needed as well, even though we don't usually say it takes three to tango or four to tango, uh, only if you're speaking figuratively or in a joking way. But we do use the phrase, it takes two to tango a lot. Let's continue. Let's, let's look at the last example here, number two. Uh, this one has both an A, B part. So A might say, John tried hard to get back in a relationship with Betty, but she is unwilling. And B may say, well, takes two to tango. You know, if both partners are unwilling for this to work out, it's not going to work out. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.